Jason Lock and Four here on the Rich Eisen Show. When it comes down to it with Le'Veon Bell and the Steelers, read those tea leaves for me as the franchise tag season opens here. Well, they won't put the tag on them until we get to that deadline on the 6th. There's no sense. Um, Inflaming you know, it. A- yes, aggravating him, being inflammatory about it, and, and that's not how they, they roll anyway. So they'll continue talking. I, I, they went further last July than I ever thought they would go, and frankly – the Rooney family went further than they believed they were probably going to go at the start of that negotiation, and they shocked some people in their own organization how far they went, and they weren't even all that close. So I don't know that they bridged that gap, and they don't fear the tagging him because, let's face it, he's had injury problems. He's had off-field issues, and going year-to-year with a running back, it's not ideal, but it's, it's, it's certainly better than doing it with a quarterback or a pass rusher or something like that. Rich, the original deal on the table last July had more money in the first two years of it than he's going to make getting franchised twice so they'd already budgeted for this we'll see who blinks in july maybe he's more reasonable maybe he understands that 15 a year for the next four or five years um is is pretty darn good and um with the new league year we're about two three weeks away um you hearing anything there's always a surprise there's always a surprise trade acquisition that that usually kicks us off for the new league year is there something we should keep an eye on that you're keeping an eye on? Anything? I mean, this Marcus Peters stuff, I, I keep hearing more and more about maybe Clark Hunt um, isn't the biggest fan of, of his anymore, and then they're certainly stocking up on corners. Um, and they had issues there last year, you know, guy, you know, him in particular with the glove and coming off the field and coming back on, not being dressed. Things got a little out of whack there. Um, and, and they seem to be making some changes on defense already. So, I, you know, a, a trade like that uh, wouldn't wouldn't shock me. You know, he's cheap. I mean, you look at a team like Seattle, and I'm just connecting dots here, but they need young corners, and he played ball up there, and they know him pretty well, and they've, hmm. you know, taken on guys with sort of, you know, off-field issues or, or guys who maybe have a little bit of a different personality and had a lot of success with it. So they're going to be purging part of that secondary. You know, some people in the league are already connecting dots wondering if that might be a match so uh on a scale of spot on to not even close bill polian saying that uh, Foles oh should be worth two ones and two twos i've uh, got doug peterson on the show tomorrow what do you think i i uh, you know what think come up with a list honestly of 10 to 20 guys in the league who would get that compensation who you would trade you know what i mean like like even tom brady okay at this stage of his career nobody's giving you two ones and two twos for tom brady i mean i i it's bizarre. I don't. I don't understand the logic there. So did, did Howie Roseman like slip him a twenty and, or Mickey or something like that? Or I don't know. I mean, that's beyond Howie's wildest dreams. I think if, if Howie slipped him a twenty, it would be hey, can you can I, you know, talk him up for a one? I don't think Howie okay. would push it this outlandish. It's it's kind of off the chart. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.